non-scripted producer Mike Fleiss is on a roll. Veteran dating show The Bachelor continues to score season-high ratings for ABC. On February 18th, TV Land premieres its second season of High School Reunion. And later this spring, the cable net launches Fleiss's new dating show, The Cougar. I recently spoke with Fleiss about these three programs and the overall state of reality. Here's what he had to say. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> well, I think the, the reason The Bachelor Show has been on so long and is doing so well is it's just a super relatable concept. Everybody dates, everyone's been in love, everyone's had their heart broken, and so I think it just it resonates with a, a really wide audience. I don't think people really care what the end result is if the story is interesting enough, and so whether or not the couple gets married at the end I think is immaterial. But secondly, I don't think people give up on love, and love is a hard thing to, to try to find, and you know, we haven't had tremendous success with our, the number of couples who have gotten married, obviously, but that doesn't mean people aren't gonna to continue to try to find love. And that's why The Bachelor Show, I think, just still continues to work. Jenny Pritchard picked on me, and she was not very nice. I didn't like her. I remember Liz, and she was kind of a dork. <laughs> High School Reunion was a show I sold, wow, well, like back in 2001 to uh, what was then called the WB. The executive over at the WB who initially was in charge of the show was Keith Cox and then he went over to run programming for TV Land and so he always had an affinity for the show. So he asked if we could possibly, you know, tweak the show and change the show a little bit so that it was more appropriate for their audience. Ultimately what we did is we went from having a 10 year reunion, which is the format we used at the WB, to having a 20-year reunion. I, I like the show better as a 20-year reunion. Obviously, the, the bodies in their bikinis aren't as hot as at the 10-year reunion, you know, not all the time at least. But the drama seems to be a little stronger. When we were uh, casting for the Cougar, I just sort of uh, started off by going to the places where I'd seen a lot of Cougars. And uh, you know, I, knew, I knew I'd seen a lot of them in Orange County. I knew I'd seen a lot of them in Scottsdale, so I sent my army of casting people to those two locations, and lo and behold, there were cougars present. Finally, we found a really beautiful, sexy, 40-ish woman, actually she's 40 years old, who's uh, just, just got a heart of gold, and she's a wonderful person, and she's a, a mother, and she's got four kids, and you know, it, it was just a perfect fit. I guess it's easier to uh, find a large audience if you're providing a, a product that everyone can understand. And so I don't know if it's lowbrow or if it's trashy TV or whatever, but I think the shows that I make, they're, people are rarely confused by what it's about. You know, it's not like going to see a Merchant Ivory movie and sort of walking out scratching your head. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's for the masses, for sure. Fleiss also is prepping a number of other shows, including one for CBS and The CW. For Media Week, I'm Alan Frutkin. <laughs>